And my name is Jim Oates. I'm an associate professor at the Medical University of South Carolina. So our research program is interested in looking at markers that may predict heart disease uh, and what we mean is uh, heart attacks and strokes and lupus patients. Uh, we've been funded to look at a, uh, what is uh, considered a validated marker of uh, heart disease or atherosclerotic disease uh, in the non-lupus population, that's an ultrasound done of the carotid artery, and we're looking at plaque area, which is just a, a measure of uh, how much uh, of the fatty plaques that uh, occur in atherosclerotic heart disease we see in lupus patients. And we're trying to find markers in the blood and in the urine that will help us, uh, uh, something that will correlate with that, so that might be predictive of disease. So we've been funded to look in cross-section, that means at a single point in time, uh, what correlates with this uh, traditional marker um, uh, of ultrasound of the carotid artery uh, amongst our markers uh, in the serum. And we're looking at things that are related to what are called reactive intermediates or reactive oxygen. And you've probably heard about this uh, when people talk about uh, taking vitamins that have antioxidant properties or uh, eating fruits and vegetables that have antioxidant properties. Well, we're finding out now that um, vascular disease in lupus patients is not just plugging of the arteries, it's an inflammatory disease, and it's a disease of reactive oxygen or oxidative stress. So our markers are looking at those, uh, they're sort of surrogate markers of oxidative stress. So our goal ultimately is to be able to predict what you're going to find uh, on that ultrasound. And then with future funding, we'd like to be able to predict uh, how people will do over time, whether they will get a heart attack or not, or whether they'll have progression of that plaque that we see in the uh, carotid artery. Our ultimate goal is to be able to tell who's at risk uh, for heart disease uh, and lupus so that we can uh, institute therapies to try and prevent it. Right now we have a hard time determining who is going to get heart disease. Um, the traditional risk factors like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, particularly central obesity, are somewhat predictive, uh, but they're not good enough uh, in the lupus population when compared to the general population. So we're looking for a marker that will add uh, predictive value. Traditionally, we thought that the steroids uh, that we give to patients, uh, prednisone-like drugs, are, have been responsible for this, and the, the thinking behind that was uh, that the, these drugs can cause high blood pressure and diabetes and obesity, things that are all risk factors for heart disease. Uh, but in uh, very good uh, studies uh, where, where they've looked at patients over time, um, the steroid dose over time doesn't seem to be as predictive as uh, markers of disease activity over time or, or damage related to the disease. It's still difficult to distinguish the two, quite honestly. Um, but now what we're uh, discovering is that there are defects uh, in lupus patients, in uh, those that, that have heart disease anywhere, those who are at risk, with their ability to uh, dilate or open up um, their arteries and to prevent uh, platelet uh, aggregation or clots and prevent inflammation uh, at the barrier between uh, the inside of their blood vessels and the blood vessel wall. We are finding in, in our population, in Charleston, South Carolina anyway, that African Americans are affected disproportionately um, by uh, cardiac disease. And this may be uh, vascular disease where people have strokes and heart attacks, uh, but also sudden death from um, heart disease, from uh, fatal arrhythmias, from uh, heartbeats that don't pump blood, essentially. Um, and so our study uh, is designed to look at this population and determine if we can come up with markers that predict uh, bad events uh, related to heart disease. Our ultimate goal is to be able to tell um, in those patients where traditional risk factors aren't telling us that they're at risk for heart disease, that they too are at risk and that they need special attention. Um, right now, uh, we treat um, the aggressiveness with which we treat risk factors for heart disease depends on how many risk factors you have. And we treat lupus just like uh, diabetes as a risk factor, but we want to be able to tell uh, those people who are at added risk.